Uh, we're at the beach for something really exciting. We're actually going for a ride. We're not going to the beach. We're not going to be there. Uh, to take a look at some pretty cool new Shimano gear. So you might have seen Doddy's recent video showing off the latest Shimano XR versus the super old 1990 XR. Some I retro think. stuff. Uh, but Shimano have got these brand new offerings, the brand new oh. XT. And I've got the SLX. Yeah. Uh, so Doddy's going to do a super gritty techie video coming soon, but Shimano have invited them to take him for a ride. Yeah, so what better place to do it than in Exmoor? We're going to put these things through their paces, and we're going to go up and explore the moors. Let's do an epic ride. Ready? Yeah. The big story here is how 12 speed has trickled down from the XTR group set to both XT and SLX. XT is the original Shimano group set, the first one they ever made back in 1982, and it's still held as the benchmark for every other mountain bike drivetrain it's compared to. While well, XT is the performance standard, SLX is the workhorse of the range that delivers the best blend of performance and value. If XT is the BMW M3, then the SLX is like a Golf GTI. It can keep up in nearly every situation, but it is far more accessible for the average rider. Like, do you want me to tell you all about your set? Yeah, but can I, I've got one thing I know about it. 12 speed, yeah. an XT, an SLX, good for all those budgets. Yeah, it's 12 speed and everything, mate. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, have you noticed when you shift down the block to the harder gear, it's nice and smooth? Oh, way easier. So that's come from XTR as well. They call it Hyperglide Plus. Right. So we had Hyperglide for years. Basically, those little ramps you see in your set. Yeah. It would help shift up to your lower gears, and now you've got them both way. It's super quick to shift down the box. It's nice. feel the difference then. Let's try it. And you can get in two by. Did you know that? I did. Neil, did you hear? Two by as well, if you wanted the option. It's been a while since I've run a two by, but yeah. it's good to have the option if you ever want to do that. Uh, two size cassettes as well for both XT and SLX. We've yep. got the 1050 ones, which we've got, 12 yep. feet, of course, you just said that. Uh, so big, low gear, that's what I really like. You can get a 1045 as well if you don't want maybe such big jumps in the gears or you have it nice and tight. Um, Would you recommend that for the two by though? The yeah, two by for that as well. But also you can run it one by and it's a bit lighter as well, maybe. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, Good for that climb all the way from the ocean. We've got a long way to go, dude. Another 35 kilometers. Really? Come on. That's far. Pretty punchy. Climb complete. Well, not all of well, that, that one is. That, that, yeah, you say it was average 13%, and then I think it was like 20. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's good right here, but it's definitely very up and down. It's but punchy climbs though. Guess what? I've got a nice little surprise waiting for us down there. What is it? Well, you have to wait and see. Oh, surprise, I get you. Right. You, I'll follow you. Straight up. It's down, and then there's a huge red in <laughs> yeah. my gradient. Thingy, my bob.
Gearing wise, with the one by setup, the XT uh, chain ring size goes from a 28 right up to a 36 in two to two jumps. 36 is a pretty big chain ring, maybe back in my enduro racing days, but definitely not now. And running the 30 tooth. And on the SLX, slightly less choice you've got from a 30 up to 34, but it's in the ballpark for most riders, of course. Both me and Blake are running those big sets, 1051, almost the size of a dinner. Plate of scones, some clotted cream, and some jam. The brakes are all new as well, so up on the bar you've got that new lever, so it even supports itself on the bar near the grip, so no flex, super powerful. Also good to see both SLX and XT available in two different brakes, so the XC option, so the smaller, lighter calipers, and the trail enduro option, so two pot or four. Pot of tea. Now, the queen has her milk first, followed by the tea, the proper English way. The one by chain rings have got that narrow wide setup we see everywhere, but Shimano have designed these to have less vibration, so it's quieter, it obviously retains that chain, also it gives less wear, and it's called the dynamic chain engagement. Plus there's only one way to make the perfect scone, and that is cream first, followed by the jam. Mm. The so we're not quite halfway, but we're sort of working our way up to the top of there. And it's pretty much downhill, all the way back to my nose. But we need stocking up on actual cream teas. Yeah. Clotted creams, enough okay. clotted cream to clot your arteries. But yeah, for the route. Good so far. I know there's a good uh, little wood coming up as well. Set. Yeah. Shimano XT has always been the group set for the really enthusiastic and experienced mountain bikers who really want top of the range performance with little to no compromise. Whereas XTR is race focused. XTR stands for XT Racing. XT delivers 90% of that performance but costs about 45% less with only a small weight penalty. You can get a 1x12 SLX group set for about 30% less than a like-for-like -like XT. The SLX drivetrain weighs about 1,948 grams for the 1x. That's just 100 grams heavier than XT. <laughs> Wheels, you've got SLX hubs that Blake's got running on 29er. I've got the XT, which come in wheel sets. Actually, both of them are running that micro spline free our body, just like the XTR to fit these new cassettes. And the XT wheel sets are available in cross country or trail and 29 and 27.5 for both. So four options there. The cross country option have narrower rims, so 24 mil wide internal width. Uh, the trail option are 30 mil, so suited to the bigger tires. What about you, Blake? Funny you ask, Neil. Up in my cockpit, I love it, super clean. Now, I got this new iSpec EV. Now, there's a lot of adjustments in this little section right here for your shifter. You got 14 mil side to side and 45 degrees up and down, so you can adjust that to whatever way you want to put that thing. Now, I do like the new lever. It's got a nice little gap here, and it's perfect for my dropper post lever. Keeps it nice and clean. Right, Neil, we've reached the top. There's only one way now. And that is downhill. Easy. Easy. Watch this, Neil. Done it. We've bloody gone and done it, Neil. Back at the beach. Super short, steep, punchy climbs. Steep. Well, that was a hard 40k, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. Good though. Very good. Very good. Well, the SLX for sure is the workhorse. I like how it shifts down when you're on the power. It's super smooth. It's not like. Yeah. It's like gunk. Really quick. Gone. Oh, and I've ridden the XTR road last year, and it is very, very nice. But I think the XT is super nice as well. Mm. I think it's going to be a choice for a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. If you want to see a video from Doddy riding the XTR, click over there. Where? Just, just over there, behind that seagull. Right. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like.